to do a very different video. I've never done anything like this before on my channel, but you know, I'm going to go for it and I hope you guys really enjoy this look. This look is inspired by the makeup that Jenny wore during her wrapping portion in Kill This Love. Now I am actually kind of living for this. I have I have to go study at the library later today, so this is kind of, this is out of the ordinary for me. Um, but I hope you guys all really like this look. I was really trying my hardest to get it right, and obviously I don't look like her, but the makeup. It's all about the makeup. So I hope you guys all enjoy, and let's get started. Listen, I tried to curl my hair, but my hair is so unmanageable that it doesn't look any different from my natural hair. So we might touch up later, I just attempted it right now. So I was examining her look, I have like a million screenshots from the music video, and she is more focused on a rosy red look. Her hair is more of a burgundy brown, so then her eyebrows obviously look a little bit more warm, they have more red tones, her eyeshadow is obviously red, and then so are her lips. She doesn't really focus much on bronzing, so there may not be that much dimension to my face today. I already have my moisturizer on my skin, so I'm gonna go into my primer. Now, today will be the last day of this damp Fenty primer. I have only this much left, so I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape it out and apply it on my face. This primer, honestly, is a very hydrating primer. It does claim to give your skin a soft matte finish. Like I said, I don't really think it does. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a base for another primer that I will be using because her skin doesn't look too dewy, but it also doesn't look too matte. So I am going to go in with a smoothing primer after this. I think the perfect candidate for this one would be the Joa Selfie Ready Pore Minimizer Primer. And I just think this is very similar to the ColourPop Primer if you've ever tried that. It's a very lightweight um, primer, but it's a little bit more substantial than the Fenty one as far as blurring out your skin and your pores are concerned. So I'm just going to rub this into my skin, especially in areas where I need it, and that's going to be my cheek, my forehead, my nose, and my chin. I'm having a hard time figuring out what foundation I want to use today because I'm hoarding a lot of foundations right now. I think I want to go into Fenty because I'm so close to running out of it, so I think that's just, it's fine. It's fine, we'll use it for today's look. I'm in the shade 290. I am a little lighter than this, but it's fine. We'll lighten it up with concealer because, like I said, she doesn't really have much of a bronzy look. So if I do the reverse contouring method, then that should be okay for this look. For concealer, I'm using my Catrice Liquid Camo Concealer. This one's in the shade Light Beige. I'm gonna go ahead and do that reverse contour. Will I ever have a quiet video to myself? Maybe no. Maybe the answer will just remain no. By the way, the sponge that I'm using is the Juno & Co. Rose Sponge. Um, it's their 30% softer microfiber sponge. It works pretty well. I'm using it dry because you can use microfiber sponges dry or wet. And honestly, you can't really feel the difference <laughs> when it is wet or dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend in my concealer with this sponge. And I am... Probably not gonna go in with any bronzing powder for the sake of this look. I'm probably just going to stick it with normal regular face powder. I also realized I added a lot of concealer under my eyes, so this is gonna take a hot minute to blend. That's fine, you know, more coverage. All I'm doing today is going to the library, so it's fine. You know, it's all good. I'm just gonna let them know that I'm here to pretty much get my shit together while looking like I have my shit together, but I really don't. So I am going to go ahead with my banana powder by Shop Miss A on my Sigma F35, and I am going to go ahead and set my under eye area and anywhere where I feel like I'm just a little too shiny, so that's just going to be pretty much the high points of my face. Wow, porcelain skin! 
haven't gotten my brows done yet, so they're really thick and really untamed. So the good thing is, is that her brows look very fluffy and very soft, as if she used a brow powder. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take my favorite eyebrow powder. This one's by Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Ash Brown. And I'm going to go ahead with the lighter shade on a Real Techniques eyebrow brush and just run it through my brows and then comb it out if necessary if it gets too dark. And that's pretty much like what I'm going to do. Not anything super crazy. As far as the shape of the eyebrow, I might keep it my natural shape and not exaggerate my arch like I normally do. So just fill it in. I know some people are like, why isn't this bitch talking about the music video? Okay, honestly, if I am, you know, being 100% myself, I never like a song the first time I hear it. I like a song after I listen to it about like five to ten times and then I'll be like, hmm, maybe I do like it and hmm, maybe I don't like it, but it always has to be after five to ten times. I don't know why, maybe I'm just not used to new things, but that's just me. And so far I listened to it three times and it's, it's slowly catching on to me and I'm kind of liking it. It's very different from a lot of other songs especially in the k-pop industry i mean i've been listening to k-pop literally since elementary school and you know i've been through so many generations and so many bands so many disbandments all that stuff and i could genuinely say that this one feels different this just feels like feels like exo mama way back when we're talking years ago it just gives me that vibe where it's just like grungy, um, is grungy the right word? It's like heavy and like there's a lot of bass to it. Um, that's just, mm, that's just my opinion, I don't know. I'm taking a smaller brush by the way and I'm taking that same shade and I'm just redefining like small hair like strokes in my brow and I think that's pretty good. I am going to take a little bit of concealer just to clean up the underside of my brow because there's a lot of hair that's growing because I haven't got my brows done in so long. I waited this long because it's almost my birthday and I wanted to make sure that when I go to the eyebrow parlor that they make my brows look amazing. Like I'm talking about I am their best client, you know? That's what I want. So I did mention concealer, so I am just going to do like a dot of concealer under my eyebrows and then smooth it out because I feel like this gives me more control for the concealer. I'm going to take the concealer brush and ever so slightly just carve out that eyebrow. If anyone was wondering, my bias in Blackpink is actually Lisa. And I'm actually really surprising myself for actually not doing that bright pink Lisa look. But if you watch my videos and you know me, you know that pink is not my color. I try really hard to get into it, but there's just, it's hard. And to really make them fluffy, I'm gonna go in with Glossier Boy Brow. This is just the clear one, because I don't really want to add any color to this, because sometimes I can get a little too crazy too quick. So I'm just going to go in upwards directions and really comb this through the brow. Awesome. The more I look at this look, the more I feel like this palette would be the most comparable. So this is the Supreme Seductress palette by Prism Makeup that I got off the Gina Co website. So I'll a link in the description. <laughs> so um, she really focuses on a lot of these tones right here. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start by setting my eyelid with this shade right here so that all the shadows can blend seamlessly and very smooth on top of each other. There is one shot in that portion of the music video where she has her eyes closed and I got it. So she does have a halo eye and she does have a smoked out liner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack the red onto the inner and outer corner and then I'll blend it out. So I am gonna take my Sigma E32 and I'm gonna take the brightest red shade Pack it on my inner corner and 
then my outer corner. She also has the outer corner smoked out in a wing. And this is pretty common with a lot of Asian eye looks because it accentuates our eyes. We have almond shaped eyes. Then with a blending brush, I'm going to take a peach shade and I will blend the two and create a bridge just so that we can really get that halo effect. We're going to go back into the E32 brush and take that red and then we are going to redefine the inner and outer corner because first we want to blend it out just so that we can get the shape and then we can go in and really define the shade. Now the center of the eyelid should be bare but honestly I accidentally blended everything together but you know it's fine we'll fix it. So the middle of her eye where the halo is, it seems to just be like a light tan shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dot of concealer on the middle of my eyelid. Do that. Just a small dot. Take my finger and pat it. And I'm not going to take a concealer brush like I normally would because hers looks very smoky as opposed to defined. So I'm just gonna do this method and it seems to be working out pretty well. And then since hers seems like a tan shade, I'm gonna take a shade kind of like this, like a banana shade, and set it on top because once everything is mixed around, I will get that shade that she has. I'm pretty sure I got it. That looks pretty dang accurate. I'm like a makeup artist or something. Like, who am I? Then just go ahead and redefine just a little bit with a touch. The halo technique is pretty much replicated from the eyelid down to the lower lash line. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and start in the outer corner because I'm going to connect the shadows here just so it's a little bit more cohesive. Then I'm gonna take that blending brush and blend it because it's a harsh line down there. And I really take my time. By the way, this blending brush is the Furless ME3. It's a very flimsy blending brush. So I get more of a smoked out effect a little quicker. So now I'm gonna go into that halo step on the lower lash line, but instead of doing the concealer, I'm just gonna go in with the powder. So now I'm gonna add a little bit more definition to the eyes. Now I am gonna go ahead with a little bit of fake lashes today, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my black coal liner, and I'm gonna tight line my eyes. I also noticed that Jenny has a little bit of definition on the lower lash line as well, but I don't wanna go in with black, so I'm gonna go in with red because I think that this will complement the look a little bit better than black. She also has a little bit of a smoked out wing like I mentioned, so I'm gonna go in with this really dark cranberry shade in that corner, and I'm taking this on an eyebrow brush. This is by MOTD. This is their Brow Chicka Wow brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead with that wing. I'm honestly just doing uh, the wing because I don't want to close off the eyes with eyeliner on top. I feel like the lashes will do the talking for us. Now let's go into that gold liner. So she has a straight line kind of like Scar from Lion King that goes straight down her eyes uh, on both sides. So I think I'm going to go in with a glitter liner because that will give me more control and that's the closest thing I have to her. So I have a gold here. This is the Heavy Metal Liner in Midnight Cowboy by Urban Decay. I'm going to start on my lower lash line first because I have way more control. So while we let this dry, I'm going to go in with a light layer of mascara. I'm using up my Shop Masse Fat Lash Mascara at the moment, so obviously that's what I'm going to be using. So listen, the most natural pair of eyelashes I own at the moment are Jackie by Shop Masse. These, you know what? We're gonna make it work. I know Jenny has more of a very natural lash, but this will work. This will this will do, and you know it's fine. 
So I obviously do not look like her because what do you expect? You have different features. Um, so I am gonna do a light wash of blush as I'm getting it out. I'm using my Wet n Wild Apricot in the middle because it's not too pink and it's not going to distract everything from the eye look. I'm gonna take the Spicy Choco number six brush. It's a big paddle brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and place this on my cheek, my nose, and then bring it to the other cheek. This is just to give a really light wash. I know it kind of looks intense, but it's good. And it also has a highlight effect to it. Um, so I'm not going to go in with any additional shiny highlight because we already have that from this product. The lips is probably going to be the hardest part for me. <laughs> let's, let's be real here. Is she wearing Jeffree Star? Um, okay, so I think I'm going to try and sheer out this shade, which is I'm Shook, with maybe Nude Beach, I think. I think maybe. Okay, I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand. So this is going to be the base of the gradient lip. Why? Like, why don't they look good on me? I just want to know. Cause I'm trying here. I'm really out here trying, but we're gonna take a little bit of I'm Shook and then put the finger again. Y'all, this is, I think this is the closest I'm gonna get, honestly. A hundred percent, I think this is the closest lip I could. Ugh, I don't know, I'm so bad. But it's cute. It's cute. This is a look. This is definitely a look. Okay, let me fix my hair and we'll do the outro. <laughs> Alright everyone, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys all enjoy. Now listen, my hair, I still, I need a hairstylist for this, man. Like, I could, I could do the makeup, I could provide my own makeup, but man, I need a hairstylist. I cannot do it. I used to curl my hair all the time in middle school, and I don't know what happened. Like, I just lost it. I lost the talent. Um, but I hope you guys all enjoy the look regardless. Let me know how you guys like Blackpink's new song. And I hope you guys all enjoy this surprise tutorial, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out, Girl Scouts.